is it's not right, bro. Straight up. All I'm gonna say is, you hear niggas say, yeah, I'm this, this, that. I just did 10. And niggas say, oh man, I did 10. You must be solid. Nah. Depending on how you look at it. Same nigga did 10, was really supposed to do 30. what did he do to get the other 20 off? It's a whole lot of niggas telling in that work. A whole lot of niggas. And right now to this day, right, if you go do the, the research on who controlled BMF, who 50 Cent had to do the contracts with, it's work on her. She's a cooperating informant for the feds. And that's who Big Me signed over all his rights to is to her. That's who 50 had to do the paperwork Paperwork with it was her. Same bitch lined up the homie. I think he got a toy. He was out of St. Louis or Tennessee. Lined him up. Got him 20, fresh 25 years. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, it's a whole lot of weird shit going on. Non-cooperative. Yeah. A whole lot of weird shit going on. A lot of these niggas who claim to be this, claim to be that. Got that early release based on them doing this and doing that. That nigga Blue got all the work over there. That's why they leave him alone. They know he got the work. And the streets is dangerous because Blue straight up told you. A lot of them is taking the approach that they know a nigga telling, but they just ain't going to say nothing about it. They just going to go their way. So that nigga's out here unexposed to tell. And you looking at this nigga like he this and ran with these niggas and did this and did that. And he did some time. Yeah, but the time he did ain't the time he's supposed to do. Just because a nigga did 10 years don't mean he ain't cooperate. Right. You know, what a nigga do that was he was looking at 30, 40, 50 to get down to the 10. And it's a lot of niggas that saying, I ain't going to do nothing to the nigga. I'm just going to go my way and live my life. That's why all the antics and the tattoos and the... All that, man, that shit don't move me, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's a whole lot of niggas looking the part, but ain't playing the part. Sure. Say that shit again. You know what I'm saying? And them niggas is DMX, nigga, in the dark. And we ain't, they ain't making rap songs. They giving niggas rap <laughs> Yeah. Those were bars right there, Wack. Those were some bars yeah, right there. <laughs> looking the part, but ain't playing the part. Playing DMX in the dark. You know what I'm saying? No rap song, nigga. <laughs> yeah, giving niggas rap seats. You know what I'm saying? It's real shit. And this is why my only defense is when they come to making any kind of money, don't do nothing at all. I'm going to stay on these conference calls. That's what I'm going to do. That's it. It's the safest thing. Yeah, because you don't, bro. You be then ran up in the middle of a sting and don't even know it. These niggas got high tech shit, bro. These niggas got motherfucking bugs under the seats and the visors, motherfucking in the vents. And nigga, they, they, they got the phone, the iPhones, are recording device sitting there. Man, this shit crazy, man. Nigga ain't got time to figure all that shit. You can't beat it all, so you got to shut down on it all. You know, hey, hey. Uh, just walk a, walk a clean strip, the clean strip. Uh, start lying themselves into indictments, lying their ways into indictments. That's it. You and Big Meech stopped talking. Yeah, so we stopped talking. Me and B me and Meech last time talking was 2017, right? So in 2017, um, we on the phone like normal, regular conversation one night and then my homeboy that was with me he was like uh tone bird he from bmf too tone was like ask big homie what's up with the movie with 50 like what's going on with he from new york i had to use my new york accent yo what's going on with the, the 50 cent movie so i'm like oh yo Mish, what's up with this with the movie with the tv show like where y'all at with that he like oh man it's almost done. The contract almost done. It's almost done. We're gonna be starting. They're gonna be, you know, starting to um, cast it or whatever, whatever, right? He's like, I just gotta wait to holler at Tammy before, you know what I'm saying? I know where we at with that. And Tammy is a government informant. So when he said that, I was like, Tammy, what you mean, Tammy? Like, you ain't going heard what's going on with her? And they were like, shit, nigga, I heard some shit, but whatever it is, that shit ain't got shit to do with me. And he's like, man, I'm gonna hit you back. I'm like, all right, that's the last time I ever talked to him. 
So, you want, so why you want to pull up some paperwork? You want me to show you how to pull up some paperwork? Or he got it. Tammy the so pick. you're talking about Tammy Cowens, right? Yeah, yeah, so, Tammy Cowan. Okay, now she, she's a co-producer of the BMF Stars TV show. <laughs> okay, yeah, and oh, and you're saying that she's, she's an informant. Definitely, hundred percent. Hundred percent. Okay. She's been an informant since 2009. God damn. Okay, so I'm on the page right now. Yeah, it's 32 and pages or something. I'm I'm on the first page, and now it says, uh, you know, United States of America versus plaintiff, and it says, uh, Donnie Gatlin, Dion Timothy. Dion Gatlin. Shout out Dion Cuff. Gatlin. Shout out Cuff. That's my nigga Cuff. Cuff Dion Gatlin. Yeah, he's the one of the first defendants. Yeah. Line him up and they go. So can you kind of break down this paperwork for me and how she's involved in this? And wh where can I go? I mean, uh, uh, Tammy, Tammy Cowens is, is, is Big Meech personal assistant slash business partner slash whatever you want to call. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so uh, basically she became the owner of Meech's, what Meech has as BMF Entertainment, his company from prison. His company, she became the owner of it in 2008. And in 2009, she became a government informant. In 2010, she did a case that was uh, pertaining to a, a guy that Meech met in prison and one of Meech's homeboys of 26 years. Okay. Yeah, now, in this paperwork, it doesn't actually say her name. Right, right. Yeah, you will have to... Um, you, you, it, it don't, it don't got to... It don't say her name... It say her name on Pacer on the cover sheet, her actual name. But you know this is a this is a case, so they're not gonna be saying the witnesses' names in the case. They're gonna call them CS1 or CSOI or something like that, confidential source or whatever. It's confidential, bro. It's not public. That you know what I'm saying the the snitch on the case is not public. You feel me? Until maybe after the case and the people's put away in prison and they oughta. Uh, uh, government hiding and all that shit, and then you get some paperwork, and then you might see it. Outside of that, you got to be tapped in. You got to have that pacer. Got to be able to pull cover sheets and shit like that. But when people read the affidavit, it explains to you exactly who she is. And then when people follow or know, or once you get to understand this situation, then you'll get to see exactly who Tammy Collins is. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna read a little bit, a little part of it real quick, man. It says CS1's relationship with Flonery, Suarez, and Gatling. When CSI became a DA informant, CSI was and had been a longtime associate of Demetrius Flonery. Yeah. Now, here's where it says uh, CSI1 held Flonery's power of attorney and life rights with creative control. So, yeah, that means she's the person that got his life right. So she's the person that 50 Cent got the movie from, the TV show from. That's the only way to get it. You can't get it from Meech because he in prison, so he can't DBA. He can't do business from prison. He's in jail. So he has to sign his rights to do his life story or do whatever he going to do in his name over to somebody else. And Tammy Cowens is the person that was appointed to do all of that business. And she's the one that got the deal with 50. So now you can scratch your head and you know, I don't know. Yo, whack. That's deep. That's deep. That's deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cuff, cuff them been wanting us to expose. You caught it, right? A dude, Big Meech, met in prison, right? Yeah. Tammy put the play together with Cuff and down in Dago, and you know, it was a thing. Whoa, I ain't know none of this shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, nigga. I, I said that's it. That's what I'm saying, I yeah. I said it in the room before. Yeah, that's why I'm putting it all together. Now it's all just coming more together. This is wild. But if you go pull the paper and identify who the co cooperative did, that's how we know it's Tammy. But Tammy, you don't remember me saying about a year ago, like, 50 had to do the deal with Tammy. Yeah, I remember that, but I didn't know she turned into a CI. Yeah, yeah, who's a known informant, and that's who Big Meese chose to, you know, uh, sign shit over to. Uh, I mean, you know, <laughs> and then a nigga that he was in jail with gets out, and Tammy puts together the play, which turns out to be a sting that she cooperated with, and old Cuff is in there with a 26-year bid. Now, you get the Cuff paperwork, it really get ugly.